Welcome back. Thank you very much. How are you feeling this fight week? Feeling great. You haven't been hit by a car or anything on the way here? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask a little bit about that first. You had that crazy win after that injury. How do you kind of get in your right mind to fight after that? It was a very specific situ situation for me, for my whole team. Obviously, we've never have to overcome something like that before. And yeah, so even before the contract has arrived, uh, when I was recovering and everything, I knew I had to stay, you know, in in shape, so to say. So I only could do some weights and stuff, but that was pretty much it, you know, from seated position, and that's it. So that's the only thing I did until the wound closed up, and even then I had to be pretty much cautious all the time during my trainings and everything so it was very low intensity training it mean i i think i sparred maybe two or three weeks before the fight for the first time like where we pushed the push the tempo just a little bit you know and couldn't couldn't have really wrestled couldn't have kicked with that leg also i couldn't kick with the other leg because i'm standing on the one that was injured so it was very very diffi di difficult camp for me for my coaches and you know, I, I did have a little like question in my mind, you know, can I do it? But I knew I had to. So also coming to the fight, we come here, we start the warm up. It was like 10 or 15 minutes before the fight. And I tried to hit some pads with my coach and my injured foot, ankle, you know, just pops out and starts to swell. So <laughs> that was also a big, you know, like it, it pissed me off moment, you know, <laughs> it, it, I was really like, is, is this possible, you know, what else can go wrong? So yeah, getting a W for that fight, that was a great feeling, you know, <laughs> very, very good feeling. So how do you top that? Because I, I would imagine nothing could stop you at this point. You know that you've faced pretty much everything that you could face. How do you top that feeling? Yeah, I'm not sure. I I want to try to top that. <laughs> I I don't know. Every every fight is like separate thing on its own for me. You know, I take pride and enjoy of every W. Also, you know, the losses I take them for what they are. I don't really let it push me down. You know, I try to learn from them, as I do try to learn from my victory as well, so I can be better next time. Did you learn anything in that fight camp that you had to change everything about maybe going forward how you could do a different fight camp? Or are you back to the way it was before? Uh, you mean the one when I was injured? Correct. Yeah, I, I guess I learned that, you know, you're a lot tougher than you think, you know, <laughs> than we all think we are. And, you know, I, I, if, you, if you would ask me now, for the some later part of the year, you know, would you accept the fight after being hit by a car? I would say no, but now when I experienced that and managed to pull pull it off, you know, I definitely, as I said, I think we are all, we are all a lot tougher than than we give ourselves the credit. So, what did you think when you got the the name of your opponent? Like I said, I knew when I was in rehabilitation phase. I knew. I had a feeling, you know, in my gut that the contract would come. So my manager like sent me a message and I'm like, okay, that's it. <laughs> and yeah, I talked with my coach. So we knew, we knew it, 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 it will not be a normal camp like we had before, you know? So yeah, we, we just try to do our best. Everything that I can do on my end, we just try to do it uh, rehabilitation wise, you know, to cure, to heal up the injury as fast as possible and also to prepare for the fight, you know, so it was, you know, even for conditioning part, you know, I couldn't have done, I couldn't have do much things for in preparation for that fight, you know, I couldn't l run really long because, you know, my foot was still crushed, <laughs> you know, the soft tissues were all uh, still in flame, uh, how to say, uh, uh, sorry, I, my brain stopped working, but the soft tissues, in my foot, they, they they were still hurting a lot, and my foot was unstable at the time. So everything 
you know, from strength and conditioning to uh, tactical training, technical sparrings, everything was like majorly different than what I do when I'm healthy, as you would imagine. So, yeah, it, it was a big learning experience for me, for my coaches, but I'm, I'm just glad we, we managed to overcome that and get to that W, which was pretty important for me, of obviously coming of two loss streaks. So, last fight on the contract, I knew it was, it, it, it was sort of big, it, it had a lot of weight, that fight for me, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad we, we managed to get a W. Would you say that you're going into this fight 100%? Yeah, most definitely. Compared to that fight, I'm like million percent. <laughs> what kind of a fight do you predict this time around? I also think it's going to be a very tough fight. Obviously, I'm healthier now, but uh, my opponent's pretty dangerous striker. Also, on the ground, he's a black belt, so, you know, it's a pretty interesting matchup for the fight fans, I would believe, because I do mostly striking in my fights. He prefers striking as well. Uh, he's a big, tall guy, good movements, explosive, fast, so he, I definitely think uh, fight fans are in for a treat for this fight. Do you pay, uh, tape, pay attention to the odds at all? Uh, you're, it looks like you're an underdog. Does that kind of give you an extra push? Do you care about that? I, I really don't beat myself over that. You know, I don't lose any sleep over it. You know, I was an under, underdog before, you know, many times, you, and I managed to beat the odds. I was a favorite in, like, a couple of fights I lost. So, yeah, I, I don't really give much attention to that, you know. It, it's just the bookies, you know, they, what do they know? Do you ever put money on yourself when you're the underdog? Uh, no, really. Uh, I never really betted on myself. And every single time I put a bet, I did a couple of times, on some fight, everything turned out completely differently. So <laughs> I'm not doing anything like that. <laughs> Do you think of it a little bit as a jinx? You like you specifically say, "I don't want to bet on myself because I might jinx myself," or is it? I more don't just think it's a jinx. <laughs> I, I just think I'm really bad at betting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm not that much of a gambler. Hey, Disco. How are you, man? Um, I saw that you got some work in with your former opponent, Michelle Pierre, last night. Uh, yeah. How was that? Yeah, it's, we remained in good contact. You know, even after my last fight uh, against. Pitolo in December, we went to dinner all together, you know, Michelle, his wife, my co my manager coaches and me, we all, we all went to dinner and, you know, have a, had a good time. And yeah, we, we're, we kept in touch after that, you know, we're in good relations, so yeah. It's awesome. Um, who gave you your nickname, Thunder? Uh, basically, some friends, after I, you know, got the W and, you know, you need to be marketable, you know, to to be in UFC. You know, it's a money business after all. So, a uh, couple of friends, they're like, you need to get a nickname, blah, blah, blah. In that time, I'm, I didn't like like the idea that much because, honestly, I didn't have a clue what what to, to pick, you know, how to pick. So, we did some, like, Instagram questioning on the stories and you know, pick a nickname or just vote what would you like or something like that. I don't remember really well right now, but somehow we ended up with the Thunder, you know. It starts the same letter as my last name. Um, the song that I go into the ring is Thunderstruck by ACDC. Also, I think first gi that I bought, you know, that I really bought, you know, for myself, I picked it out. Uh, like in December or a couple months ago, I, when I put it on, I, when I open it on the inside, it's just labeled Thunder, Thunder, Thunder. So yeah, that's a funny coincidence, I guess. And yeah, I think it suits me. Suits me, suits my fight style. It, it has a nice ring to it, you know? <laughs> for sure, for sure. And finally for me, um, I know that you were, work, you were in school working on your thesis. I was just wondering if you got that done yet. Yeah, it's all it's all done. It's all done. Yeah. How was that? <laughs> I'm just glad it's you know off the off the table. I don't have to think of it no more. How how long did it 
uh, how long, how many pages was your thesis? Uh, I think 40. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no problem. All good?